What's going on? Another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And today we're going to talk about the banner that is now up on the global version of uh, the game. And we're, go we're going to talk about all the characters, basically the four characters that we got uh, today. We're going to... Because I know this week uh, Gumi was a little bit weird than uh, Square Enix. Uh, the news were never actually up to date all the time. They always switched it up. So uh, one thing on the raid event, you will be able to re-get the Lightbringer and all the equipment like that. They first said that you couldn't and now they're saying that you can. So with that, get your second Lightbringer or get your first Lightbringer. On this note, let's talk about the first guy. Three star going into five star. He's a bard. Uh... He's not crazy, but you know, Master Edward, right here. We're gonna go over his uh, trust master, the Vishnu vest. Sorry for my voice, also uh, allergies and uh, cold is actually killing my voice. But let's not talk about that. Let's go over this right here. Uh, actually, really, really good defense 36, uh, spirit 36, MP 15%, and it gives you a 25% resistance to fire, ice lightning light and dark which is a really really good stuff a uh, really really good thing guys uh if you don't have it go for it that tm you're actually probably gonna get a lot of him so you're gonna be uh it's gonna be a little bit easier for you guys to get that tm nonetheless let's move on to uh his uh, moves there's nothing crazy we're not gonna spend a lot of time on him uh basically I think his strongest thing is Song of Caution, increase attack and magic by 50% for 3 turns while singing and he decreases the attack and magic by 40% for 3 turns. So that's a break move and his Song of Bravery right here, increase attack, defense, magic and spirit by 40% for 3 turns to all allies while singing. He's gonna heal, he's gonna get some MP. Not strong, but you know what, if you are starting the game and it's your first, let's say, second week that you're playing, well he's gonna be better than nothing. So, uh, actually not bad at all. Uh, really good TM, and uh, not uh, not so not so shabby at all. He looks good. He looks good. Uh, moving on to the second one, we're gonna go to Mr. Yang right here. He's a physical attacker, a monk. He goes from four to six star, and you guys can see right here is Trust Master. Uh, monks Enlightenment increase attack by forty percent and defense by twenty percent when equipped with a fist. Really, really strong. Uh, so you guys can put that on your uh, characters that have fists, like let's say Leela, even though her main build is with spirit, uh, it's a, still actually pretty good. Let's say you're fighting a boss with higher spirit and uh, less defense, well, you're going to be able to boost your damage up on your monks, which is uh, not bad at all, not bad at all. It's, it's close to a fist mastery right here. Uh, we're going to move on to this thing right here. If you guys give him the frying pan, resistance to sleep which is nothing crazy so let's let's skip this one right now um we're gonna go over his thing real fast kick physical damage 1.1 to all in me so that's his aoe attack uh raging fist physical damage 1.2 within or 25 percent defense to one enemy all out scuffle Physical damage, two times would ignore 50% to one enemy. Uh, right here, you guys can see a lot of these characters. Their hits, their data frame is not actually in uh, the site. So it's going to be kind of hard to know who they're chaining with, who will they be able to chain with. So for now, let's just say that this guy is going to chain with himself. Uh, he has focus power, which increases attack by 200%, max to 600% for the next normal attack to caster. So it's not going to proc if you do one of his abilities. It's just going to proc if you do a regular attack with the character uh he has uh martial arts where you can use two abilities in one turn so you will be able to use kick raging fist all out scuffle or fo focus power twice in one turn uh we're gonna go over his straight sorry knuckle extreme increased attack by 200 percent when he's unarmed uh increased physical evasion 15 percent hp 30 percent attack 30 percent uh, enables dual wielding when uh, equipped with one-handed fist so you guys will be able to give him two fists weapon without him uh, without giving him any dual wield so he's going to be having that innate in his passive uh, passive kit which is really really good which is really fun also because you can you know leave an ability open for something else for let's say more attack damage or anything else like that and he has martial arts 50 percent when equipped with a fist it's not going to stack if you have two fists equipped, so take that in note. Keep that in note also. Uh, is Brave Attack, Limit Burst, sorry. Brave Attack, playing too much this city lately. Uh, is uh, Limit Burst, when it's maxed out, physical damage, 
8.4 to all enemies and it's 20 crystals and it's a 12 hit uh not bad at all i actually really like his tm uh, he's a cool character he looks good uh nothing crazy there but you know what hey four star like that better than having a really poopy four star then we're gonna move on to mr kane right here and i gotta say i think it's one of my favorite arts in the game for a character because he looks badass this guy uh, I wish a lot of characters would look like that and this is just the epitome of badass in that pose uh, Really good job Gumi because this sprite is probably one of my favorite In the game with Sephiroth because this this looks amazing man He's just there and he's really really ready to take on anything So he's a five star going into a six star really good trust master Dragoon helmet uh, attack 40 defense 28 and it gives you water resistance and wind resistance by 20% That's really really good uh, It's kind of funny that he's wearing no helmet and his trust master is a helmet, but nonetheless he looks uh, Let's move on into his stuff You guys can see he can equip uh, a lot of things actually swords katana maces obviously spears whips and may uh, Did I say mace already axes and maces? Sorry uh, we're gonna move on to his thing. Like I said before, we're not gonna be able to see his, uh, his frames right here, so we won't exactly know who he's chaining with right now. But let's talk about his abilities. He has Lance, uh, he's gonna be able to drain HP and MP from uh, the enemies. Uh, he also has uh, Dispel in his kit, where you guys can see right here, he's gonna be able to remove status effect from one enemy. And on that thing, he's gonna be able to break. Uh, You'll dispel the enemy and you're gonna break his um, oh, break. You're gonna lower his resistance to water, uh, darkness, or wind. So, depending on one of the three abilities you're gonna use right here, you're gonna break, not break, you're gonna lower his resistance to one of those elements, uh, which is actually really, really good. I'm actually down with that. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, 28 MP, not that expensive, so it's actually pretty good. Piercing darkness, physical damage, 3.5 times to one enemy. Decreases dark resistance by 50% for 5 turns to one enemy and adds dark element to his physical attack uh, That's actually really, really good for 5 turns Then like any other dragoons in the game, uh, he has dragoon dive Physical damage 2.1 with jump delay 1 turn to one enemy You know, that's the thing with dragoons, they just like jumping in the air and just next turn fall down and do some damage Then we have a piercing aqua, piercing air which is basically the same thing the only difference is the uh, imperil they'll do. This one, physical damage 3.5 times to one enemy, decreases water resistance by 50% for 5 turns to one enemy, and it's a 14 hit move, uh, and adds water element to his attack for 5 turns. Then piercing air, same thing, 3.5 to one enemy, decreases wind resistance by 50% for 5 turns to one enemy, and adds wind element to his physical attack. Then he has Dragoon Raid, physical damage, Six time with jump delay two turns to one enemy, so that's uh, that's gonna hit a little bit harder with that multiplier, but also you're in the air for two turns, which is not that great. But if you are chaining, if if they would let us click on that unit and decide when he falls down, that would be so much better. But no, still not in the game. Uh, then he has the last one, Sonic Gale. Physical damage 2.25 would ignore defense 50% to one enemy. It's a seven hit move. Negates 2 physical damage uh, taken for 3 turns to caster and decreases the wind resistance by 50% for 3 turns to 1 enemy. So one of these moves right here, uh, I think that would be the one that would chain with Explorer Eileen with the pile driver finish or the pile driver normal. Uh, but we're not sure yet. Uh, like I said, there's no frame so we won't be able to go into details on that. Then, sorry again. Uh, his, pass uh, his passives are actually really good. Increased attack by 20%. He has Dragon Killer Plus, so damage against Dragon 75%. Uh, increased jump damage by 100%. Yeah, Spear Master. Increased attack by 20% when equipped with a spear. Uh, increased spirit by 20%. Self Esteem. Increased attack defense spirit 100% when his HP is below 20%. So that's another good thing right here. Uh, he has New Leaf, which increases resistance to Poison, Blind, and Paralyzed by 100%. Increase Jump Damage by 120%, Dragon Spirit, sorry. Uh, and HP 20%. And the last one, 
Increased attack by 50% when equipped with a spear, that's spear mastery. Uh, so he has a lot of passive abilities where he's able to increase his damage, which is pretty good because that's how you want him, that's how you want to build him. Uh, see, the thing with Dragoons is until you can't, until you will be able to decide when they fall down uh, to do that damage, it's going to be really hard to use them. So I think that's why they gave him kind of some chaining moves so he's able to do something else in the game than just jump and fall down and do damage. Uh, but until they really decide to tell us, guys, this week you'll be able to, and moving on, you'll be able to, you know, jump your character in the air. And at the start of the next turn, when you click on him, you actually decide when he falls down. Uh, it's going to be really, really hard to utilize those jump abilities. But nonetheless, he's actually a really good unit. And I, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It looks really, really good. And I'm, I'm happy that they bring older characters into a 5-star and 6-star meta. Which is a nice, nice, nice thing they do, they're doing. Uh, just take example, Shiro. We have the Shiro that's 3 to 5-star. And now we have the Emperor Shiro who's a 5-star going to a 6-star. Which is also not bad at all. Uh, is Limit Burst, Dragoon's Bane, maxed out to the max. Physical damage 5.7 would ignore 50% to one enemy. That's a one hit move, so that's like a finisher move. And uh, I gotta say, one more time, he looks sick. He's so cool. I wish we had more characters that looks like that. He's just... That's what a Dragoon looks like. That's what... If you were a Dragoon, this is what you want to look like. But enough with the toning Dragoon Kane. Let's move on to the next one and the last one. She's so cute. Pure Summoner Rydia. Uh, she's a Summoner Magic Attacker. She has a little bit of healing cap uh, capabilities, but she's not there for that. We're going to go over Trustmaster, Purebred Summoner. Uh, increase Magic by 40%, SPR by 20%, and increase uh, Evo Mag by 10%. So you boost the... Um, when, uh, let's say, you call him Bahamut, while well, you boost his damage by 10%. That's what it means. And all his stats. Uh, all his stats, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're gonna see her, her equipment right fa uh, real fast. Dagger, uh, staff, rods, bow, and whips. Nothing crazy here. Uh, a little bit of stuff that she's able to equip. Her main things, okay? So she's gonna use a lot of her, uh, her Esper orbs. Not to say Esper balls, because a lot of you guys commented in my last video where I said Esper balls. The Esper orbs, this is what she's gonna be using. Uh, almost like Yuna, a lot of her uh, abilities, they use the Esper Gauge. So same thing here, we're gonna use the Esper Gauge to call in some moves. Uh, we have Eidolon Chocobo Kick, evoke damage five times to one enemy. That's a five hit move. It is one evocation gauge, so a little bit of the evocation gauge. Uh, Eidolon Kokra Tri-Spec, something like that. Uh, Earth evoke damage 10 times to one enemy, inflict pet petrify 30% to one enemy. Uh, dual black magic, which is gonna be pretty useful because you guys will see why. So you're able to use magic twice in one turn. Uh, she has Eidolon, Mind Flyer's Chant, Evoke, uh, Water Evoke Damage 16 times to one enemy, Inflict Paralyze 30% to one enemy, that's a one hit move. And she has Tradition, Increase Evocation Gauge uh, by 3, Increase Attack, Defense, Magic and Spirit by 80% for 3 turns to the caster, and enables access to the following ability for one use. Eidolon, Bomb Explosion, which is right here, so Fire Evoke Damage 21 times. To one enemy so her moves are actually pretty strong uh, she's actually pretty good uh, is there a lot of space to use her there's always space to use new characters guys there's always place to use new characters and to try them out uh, we're gonna go over her traits real fast she has evil match 10% evil match 20% rod mastery to boost her uh, magic damage a little bit more she has a uh, SPR 20% mother's teaching increase Esper bonus stats by 30% which is really good uh, it's going to boost the stats of your espers, like I said, by 30%. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, uh, that's a new thing. Mist Village uh, Girl, she's going to be able to cast any esper that's in your party, which is also really good. Increase MP by 30%. She has the Frame March Guardian. Uh, increase resistance to disease and petrify 100%. Evil Match plus 30. So right here, you guys can see she has a total of 60% already. In her, uh, in her kit. So that's really, really good. Uh, increased magic by 30%. And she has also auto refresh where she's able to recover 5% of her MP every single turn. 
We're gonna move on to her magic because she's not done. She has a lot of inner kit. Uh, she has Blizza uh, Blizzaga, Tundaga, Bioga, Osmos, Drain, Isuna, only for one and uh, for one ally, which is better than nothing. Let's say your tank just gets hit really hard. You're able to, you know, Asuna him a little bit. And you can use Dual Cast, which you can Asuna, and then Karaga, which she has in her kit too. Uh, instant KO, 30% to one enemy, that's death. You're rarely gonna use that ability, especially against bosses, since you're they're gonna be immune to death. Um, she has Raze, which is not bad. 30% uh, when your allies uh, they die, you can revive them for 30% of the HP. That's actually not bad, since you can Raze and Karaga too. Then she has two moves. Tornado, uh, actually Quake and Tornado. Quake, finally we'll be able to chain with uh, the boy William, which was up the banner before with uh, Cloud, Elfrida, and uh, what's his name? Conrad. So here's a chaining partner for uh, Mr. William. So you'll be, able, you'll be able to chain those Quakes together. Earth magic damage, 2.75 to all enemies. Decrease Earth resistance by 50% for 3 turns to all enemies. Then... She has Tornado, which will be able to chain with uh, Barbarisha or Shantoro. The good thing about that is this right here. So, if you beat the Malboro Trial, uh, she basically gives you a whip, which increases damage by to Plantoid when you're doing magic damage. So, let's say you're fighting another plant boss in the game when it comes out. Well, you'll be able to buff uh, that magic damage even harder with the uh, the whip on this little radio right here so that's actually pretty good uh, another chaining partner for shantoro or uh, barbaricha she has flare which is okay fire damage uh, fire magic damage 2 points 2.3 times to one enemy sorry decreases water resistance by 30 percent for three turns to one enemy then she has meter magic damage 2.25 uh, 2.5 would ignore spr 25 percent to all enemies that's her kit or uh or limit burst now esper mist dragon breath maxed out evoke damage 20 per uh, 20 times to all enemies it's a 40 hit move that's a lot of hits that's as many hits as cg sakura does in her limit burst that's 20 crystals uh that's actually pretty good i wonder if you can chain those two moves together because we have no data frame here we can click and see the frame see here we can see the frame here we can since we can't see the frame, we don't know if she's able to chain with CG Sakura with her limit burst. So, that's it for this banner, guys. Uh, are you going to summon? I did a couple of tickets. I basically only got Edward. I'm not going to try hard on this banner. Not worth it, even though this guy is super cool. Uh, these units, keep in mind, they're going to stay in the pool of uh, units. So, you'll be able to summon them in the future. Uh, man, I wish I could get this guy, but it's okay. Uh, are you guys going to pull for it? Did you guys pull them? Are you, do you like that unit? Do you find it useful? Let me know in the comment section below. If you are new to the channel, please guys, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.